Hey, I was uh, on city council in Belmont. That's a small town uh, west of Charlotte, across the Catawba River. And in Belmont, uh, while I was there, uh, we were able to turn that town around, and it's a growing town. So unlike many towns, m many smaller towns in North Carolina, uh, Belmont's growing younger. We've got new families moving in. How did we do it? We did some things that were pretty sophisticated, uh, like uh, new parks, a soccer park. We built a park down by the river so people could take advantage of the river, go fishing, and more importantly, come to love the environment the way I do. That There are not any other public parks on the Catawba River, and I invite everyone to come out to Belmont to the Kevin Lofton Park. Also what we did, it sounds simple, but it's really sophisticated. We fixed our sidewalks. They hadn't been fixed since 1989, uh, back when uh, Hurricane Hugo came through. We, they were all jagged and I was tripping, you know, when I was uh, going around uh, knocking on doors and campaigning. And so we spent 10% of our transportation fund money on fixing the sidewalks. I didn't expect it. I really didn't know what to expect, but this is what happened. When you smooth the sidewalks, it's possible for moms to push their strollers with their kids down the sidewalks. That made downtown feel safe. They brought their kids, they played in the park, they'd hang out. That helped us generate a restaurant economy where people, it is hopping down in Belmont now. And that's a simple fix. It didn't cost a lot of money. It was just one of those things that we said we got to fix it. And it made a tremendous difference. Now, I'm very proud of that. Um, and then in my personal life, I'm very proud of my daughter. She's 26. She told me she was going to law school and I said, no, nah, honey, I don't think that's for you. I, you know, I've done it, I just, I'm not a fan. And she said, well, dad, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Uh, and then she's uh, about to graduate this uh, spring and she said, dad, I wanna be a public defender. And I said, honey, I don't know about that. That's a hard road. She said, well, dad, I'm doing it. I'm so proud that she doesn't listen to her father. So yeah, that's, that's a very proud moment. My father's got Alzheimer's and there's, uh, it's pretty advanced. I visit him every Sunday uh, with my mom. And um, uh, some days he knows me, some days he doesn't. So you never know. But, but I told him, I said, Dad, you know, I'm going to uh, run for lieutenant governor. And he looked at me and uh, he got quiet and he said, uh, you're going to lose money on that deal. You ought to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> so, but mom, on the other hand, she's very supportive. She wrote a campaign check and she says, you know, anything for my baby. So uh, that, that's, that's the way it rolls there.